Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle, Seaside Crafter. I'm trying to set my timer here, but all right, here we go. I have so little room on my desk. So today what I am doing is I wanted to make a, um, this is a CD sleeve uh, paper one, and I want to make a shaker for, um, I'm working on this journal that I just started doing. Um, I was, I've been sick with that virus, so I'm still recovering and slowly getting back to things. And I started doing this um, because I was sick during Christmas and this whole week afterwards. So I'm working on this book, The Nutcracker. It's a little golden book and I want to do, I want to put a little shaker in here and my vision is to put it right here. So to give you, yeah, none of the, nothing is, none of these pages are, I'm just still doing things to it. This is my process. I have to do things and then when it's right and I, excuse the little tail that if, if you see a tail, I have butterscotch over here. So my plan is to put it like this. And I don't know why we're so close. Oh, here we go. Well, maybe to hide my shame on my dirty desk. <laughs> so anyway, this is my plan to put it like this. And it'll, you know, be like that. So here's my shaker. I already put a piece of paper on the back. So that's my plan. So this book I did, um, despite this glittery, like Christmas red paper, is a lot of pinks and blues, like kind of pastel-y pinks, purple, blues, you know, like those, um, you know, like frosty, not frosty snowman, but like frosty colors and like... So this is basically what I've done so far. Um, I use some avocado dyed paper. So I'm still, and because it is a nutcracker, you know, I'm still using some traditional colors. But and it's nothing's even in yet. This is how this is how far I've gotten. So um, that's what I'm doing. So I thought I would bring you along with me, seeing that I've been lacking in my videos. Or every time I try to do one, like I did last week, I did one and then I hit the wrong button and it stopped the video. So, yeah. So, I had that piece of paper. I had this paper that I put on the back because, I don't know, that's as far as I've gotten so far. So, now I have to, I have my sequins out. I have to decorate the front and I had a paper pad here. Because I'm doing a lot of the pinks. All right. Come on now, butterscotch. I have a lot of the pinks and like blues and stuff. I have this paper pad from Michael's that I got 100 years ago. Probably like three years ago. Um, and I bought like two or three of them because I love pink. And um, it has some really, really pretty things in here. So... I'm thinking, I'm eyeballing, um, yeah, I'm eyeballing the Santa. I think I might fussy cut him out. Because right now, I'm just doing the, um, the front. Yes, yeah, see, this, hold on, I have a cat on me. She needs to move. Come on now. Yep. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. Sorry. Yep. Okay, so, this paper pad, it's already going through the ringer, but, um, it has a lot of... I might even fussy cut some of these out. I don't know yet because I'm still trying to think of what I'm doing for the front of this shaker envelope CD sleeve. But I'm thinking I might fussy cut one of these guys out because he's a good size to go on the front. You know, he's a good size. So I'm thinking that, but I'm still trying to figure out what I want to put a paper on here. I want it to be pinky. And I'm still going through this to see what I want. 
See, that's pretty, but that's just a lot of snowflakes. I have a lot of snowflakes in this journal just because of the blues and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I'm also thinking maybe I will cut one of these out. See, because this guy has the nutcracker on it. But I also like these little trees. And I could put a little tree with it. So, oh, I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas every day. I think that <laughs> for the next year. Um, this one's pretty too, this flowery one. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I want to cover this and I don't care if it doesn't match that. Uh, it's not even a bother to me. Actually, it kind of does get pink and gray, but what I'm thinking I might do is like cut a piece out and I'm going to like rip the edges and put it on that way. But let's just see if there's something else. Um, yeah, see, look at all these trees you can cut out. I love it. I love those bottle brush trees. Um, that's pretty, but, mm, I mean, you know, I like the little glitter. <gasps> Can I just say how much I love this page? Because I love fur. I love bling and fur. If you didn't know, now you do. So, oh, the white. I'm thinking I might go with that. Look at this. Look at, this is just, this is eye candy to me. Look at that yumminess. Oh, all right. Plus, hello, love Christmas. You know what I just, you know what this, looking at this right now, this looks like, these look like medallions from, you know, the old Victorian houses. They used to put medallions um, above their lights. This looks like a medallion. So anyway, getting off topic. I think I might go with that, um, this one. So let's rip Let's rip this page out. I was looking for um, words, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get to put a word on it because I don't know. Let's just see how we go with this first. So I really wanted to cut. I want to. Now, we're all going to get a lesson in Michelle's measuring. Laurie. My friend Laurie already knows this. <laughs> well, yeah. This isn't bad. This is me me trying to measure on a ruler. That's just a horror show. Okay. So I'm going to cut this out. Because I really wanted the... I really wanted the square aspect of it. Like, you know, the whole shape. I really wanted that. And... Just to, just to get the ball rolling here. So that's good. Okay. Let's get this out of here. I've already uh, used my paint. All right, so here we go. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, and it doesn't matter, it's actually going to go this way because it's going to go on the page like this. It's going to flip like that. So... I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to start tearing I know what that and I always forget which way to go that's not the way you got to go this other way I'm just going to start tearing I'm trying to think of the way where the paper is the right way you know what I mean So I'm just tearing it, you know, like a, like that. See how it's going to be something like that? I might just clean this up a little bit, but I'm actually okay with that. So we're going to just tear this corner. I am going to try to do this as fast as possible. However, with not taking away from the actual... All right. So see, we have a little space right there, but we'll have to just cover that with something. How we got a space? I don't know. This is me. Oh, I got to go this way. So you know what? We'll just go this way. 
Try to make it on a curve. I'm actually going to be brave. And I'm going to try to do this whole corner. This whole side. So I participated on New Year's Day. Um, it was called um, Block Party. Block Party. Hop. 23 and it was hosted by Melanie Maid and a whole bunch of other fantastic ladies um, in the uh, crafting community and um, it was like a channel hop and you you know went with everyone and they had giveaways and stuff and I won like four things everybody it was so amazing I had the best time and I actually was starting to feel pretty good New Year's Day. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. I apologize. I was starting to feel good New Year's Day. And I'm wondering, should I ink the edges or should I not ink the edges? That's the question. That's the question right now. I think, because you know, once it's down, yeesh. This is my pink. I'm going to use my Kitsch Flamingo. I'm going to use that because I like it. It's kitschy, but I like it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to lightly do it. Just to get, just to get that, the edges, you know, you know. So I, um, yeah, it was like, I was starting to feel better New Year's Day, and I got up and I started cleaning. Well, yeah, I think I just did a little too much too fast, and then I was like, ugh, I gotta rest. So, I just, um, <clears throat> I started, the, the blog hop started at noon Eastern time, and, um, let's see, this is from the, uh, this is from the thing, this is from the pad that glue. Let's see if I can just let's see if I can just get that off. And um I was putting it on while I was cleaning, but then it just took a lot out of me. I, I wasn't ready. Or um the extent that I was cleaning I wasn't ready for. So I just I chilled out. I watched um the blog hop and it was fantastic. It wasn't a blog hop. You know what I'm saying. It was a channel hop. And then I won. And it was so much fun that, you know, you met all these fantastic ladies who craft and people that I've never heard of. And everybody subscribes to each other's channels. And, you know, it's very, very supportive. And I really liked that. All right. So I'm going to glue these on and I had a blast and I won like four things I'm looking for I think that's my famous words I'm looking for because I can never seem to find what I'm looking for I'm looking for a white is what I'm looking for because I already know well I'm also looking for white because you know this is the art glitter glue and I get those pins and I get the replacement tips and it comes with the pins and somehow something always happens to my pins. I break them or something. So I bought these stainless steel pins. However, if they don't say, and I just dropped it, they, if they don't say rust free, they're still going to rust even though it's stainless steel when I put it in there. So... I'm just going to have to watch out now until I find that pin. But So I bought this on Amazon. And stainless steel. I have 500 in here. So I'm just going to have to grab another one. But I seem to change them frequently. Because they do rust. And that's why I got this out. Because I'm anticipating some rusty glue to come out. See that? And so... Never mind the fact that it doesn't want to come out at all. Sorry about this, folks. But this is... This is what happens. So... 
Let's see if I can. Uh, there we go. See, I like to get that little. Yeah, I might be wasting the glue, but uh, I don't care at this point. I'd rather get that rusty crap out. I think we're good. Sorry if that was gross, but that's that's what I got to do. All right. So now I am going to, where are we again? Make sure I'm in the right way. I'm going to put this one on first. I haven't put, I have all my sequins out and I also have, I bought some um, like little Christmas, little tiny, tiny images that you put in shakers. I don't know if I'm going to use them only because, I don't know, we'll see. Because they're not, um, they're not like pastel -y, they're traditional colors, and I don't know if I was going that route. I was trying not to, but we'll see. Now, I already know, I probably should have not put so much glue on the side here, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. Just as long as this stays on. No, I'll add that one on. And I think I'm, I'll just put something over there. You know, you got to put stuff on it. So I'm going to put stuff over there. Um, yeah, so then I, uh, I think I was watching this thing for like seven hours. <laughs> There's really not much else I could do. I tried doing little things. I even came in here and I started crafting a little bit. I tried to do a little bit of crafting while I was watching it, but, you know, I get so tired so fast. So, it's not, um, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. So... Alright, let's put this on. I'm already at 17 minutes, so the last video I did with the journal, it went past, like, I think like 20-something is my, was my max, and then I, I don't know, I had a, I had a thing on my phone, because I do this on my phone, and I had a, um, an update, and it updated, and then for some reason, when I did the last video, it went past... I don't know how many minutes it was down for before, but it went past the time, and I was like, oh, because I was figuring, you know, we're going to go back to the second video, but that didn't happen, and I was pleasantly surprised, so I'm hoping that this won't happen either. I don't know why I'm fussing with that now, because we still have a lot more to do. Just wanted to clean that up. Okay, so here we go. That's not bad. Okay. So now, what I want to do is, I want to let me grab that Santa. Now I gotta find him. Did I take him out? Oh, I took that out. Oh, I got that Santa. Let me grab that Santa. I love this paper pack too. I got it at Michael's a few years ago. Well, first, let me pin this back up. And then get my scissors. I'm going to try these little bitty scissors. Let's cut this seat out. I just have another sip of my tea. Sorry if you hear a cat. We have another little cat. We have one little girl. She's in heat right now. and She has to go to the vet. But we haven't done that yet. So. If you hear a little. <laughs> a little kitty cat. And she's so adorable. She's the sweetest little thing ever. So I'm trying to stay in frame here. And cut out this little Santa. 
do it quick quick so I know it's New Year's it is um, let's say Thursday the 5th and I am still working on well this is I did that other Christmas journal which was sold which was fantastic and because I was sick during Christmas even though it was literally this Christmas season just went way too fast and I felt like I didn't have time to do anything so I am extending the Christmas season with me because I just feel like I didn't have enough time I didn't have enough time this year so I'm extending it and I'm just gonna keep going which you know I love Christmas that's like my absolute favorite I have kept my tree up all year long before I had a um, I have multiple trees multiple colors and um, one year I made a nautical tree and I just kept it up all year long why not it, it was I think it was either I have a pink I have a purple I have um a green white all right so he's cute right there but I still want to put something, I don't know, I feel like I still want to put something over there. Maybe just something over there. I don't know, well, see if I had some kind of words, but I'm not seeing any words that I want to really put. But what I might do is try, if this goes to part two, I apologize. What I might do is, Um, I'm going to cut out this, I'm going to cut out this little guy. I'm going to try to cut this as straight as possible, but I'm going to cut out that nutcracker guy. Half the time I do all these things and I decide, eh, I don't want it, but let's cut out this bulb with the nutcracker on it. And then thinking I might cut out a tree. Just to give it some little background. Let's just cut a tree. I'm just going to get one of these trees because they're so cute. I did a little display above my hutch this year. With, um, I collect those snow babies. Oh, I love those little snow babies. They're so cute. And I think I was probably late to the party collecting them. But at some point, my mom started giving them to me. So... I was like, okay, and they're so stinking cute, and I just loved them. So this year, I had, um, I know I have more, because I didn't have a lot of time at Christmas time, like I said, and I, uh, when I decorated my tree, <laughs> this was the whole thing, I had to, I was put, trying to put the tree up. And I couldn't find the lights to save my life. And I have this huge Christmas tree bag. It's absolutely huge. You could fit like three of me in it. This is how it's huge. You could probably fit like put like four trees in it. It's huge. Anyway, in this bag, see, I wanted to put him like there. And I wanted to put something like that there just to give him a little something. And then, you know what? I'm going to cut one more tree out. So, what I usually do is I take all the tree, the lights off the tree. When I you take them off and I put them, in, put them in bags, like the market bags and the plastic ones. And I tie them up and I put them in the bag with the tree because it's big enough. And so I have my regular green Christmas tree in there. I have all the garlands that go in the house, outside of the house. They're all in there. I have all the decorations, like the bows and the bulbs that go on the outside are in there. That's how big this bag is. It's huge. So, and I also put the tree lights in it because why not keep the trees, the lights and the tree together. So, for some reason, well, let me just say this. I have <laughs> a ridiculous amount of Christmas stuff. I literally have... This is just the bins. I literally have 13 bins. Bins. You know those big plastic bins of Christmas stuff. Christmas decorations. Like, you know, Christmas decorations. Ornaments and whatnot. 
Oh, no. I have... <laughs> that's not the ornaments. There could be ornaments in there. I have two other of those big those big plastic bins that have the separators that I have two bins just of ornaments because that's you know just for the ornaments then I have um I have I collect um vintage ornaments so I have some antique ornaments and some vintage ornaments because I absolutely just love them so those are in a totally separate thing so I have <laughs> I've come to the realization Oh, I have so much Christmas stuff, but I can't help it because I change my themes every year. This is the problem. I change my themes. So I'm thinking, see, I don't mind if he goes off because this is going to flip. So I don't mind if he goes off the page, but I'm thinking I might want to maybe just add, maybe just add another thing like that. See, that's cute because it kind of anchors it. If I put it like that, put that like that, that like that. And if I had some words, I could have like bleep, put something up there. Still thinking, but this is the route I'm going. So I'm just going to ink my edges just because. So um, I couldn't find the lights for the tree. And I looked in the bag and I thought I took everything out of the bag looked in the bag I couldn't find these lights and I mean the bag's red the the tree bag is red but the um the lights are in those white market bags so it's like how difficult is it to see well anyway so now I'm in like crazy I gotta find these lights mode I literally took out every bin <laughs> 13 bins yes I counted them because I was like what is going on so and i'm looking and i'm like it's i'm going through these bins and i'm taking upstairs whatever i think i'm going to need to decorate it wasn't that much so i still couldn't find the lights i went through 13 bins i couldn't find the lights that you know i still have loose things and whatever so i was like okay wait i need a drink i apologize so I said, you know what? I'm going to take that damn bag, that Christmas bag, and I am going to empty it out. I'm like literally going to lift it up, empty it out, and lo and behold, because there was a crease. Damn you, crease. There was a crease, and the bags were tucked in the crease, and oh my it was the craziest thing. And I was like, I don't understand. Why can't I find these lights? Like I was about to, this is what I was, I was about to, why this guy come out all straight? I was literally about to hum my tree down the basement, put it away because you know, you can't find the lights. I was about to hum it into the, into the basement, put it away. And I have a white tree because I, I, I have the white lights like right there. So I was ready to just put the white lights up. What white tree? What? Who cares? I don't care at this point. I was just like, I was ready to lose it. And then there it is. Ah! Uh, I was like, you have to be kidding me. And it took me two, two to two and a half hours to find these lights. Oh, I was an animal. I was, I was just, I'm like, I am giving up. This is not happening this year. So that is my so anyway in between all this because i'm looking through all my little i'm looking through all the bins and everything well i find a bin that had a whole bunch of my snow babies in it and i was like oh i gotta put these snow babies up and i had bought some i had bought i think one i think i bought one like on ebay this year and it was a cute little icicle and i need to get well, because I wasn't putting them on the tree, that's because um, we have we have our new little kitty, and I wasn't putting them on the tree because um, I wasn't sure how she was going to do it, how, how she was going to do with the tree. So what I did was I 